least seen a ripoff of in every pawn shop or gun store you've ever gone into. It revolutionized the knife making industry and made Buck a household name. With its new lockback system, it was a great in between the, class, the classical non collapsible folder and the traditional outdoorsman's choice of a fixed blade knife. The Buck 110 model could take the beating of a fixed blade knife while being a lot more compact and easier to carry. The knife doesn't show its age, holds up great, though there's been many incarnations the knife's traditional form is still manufactured today and is one of the better selling knives in the industry. One of the newer models coming out in 2018 that we'll be talking about today is the Buck 110 Slim, coming in different colors, etc, etc. We'll talk about those stats in a second, then we'll go to test it outside, and I'll give a short little overview of it at the very end of the video. This will be the Buck 110 Slim. Alright, an ode to the popularity of this knife is that I haven't yet received a catalog of Smoky Mountain Knife Co. that doesn't have an advertisement for a Buck 110 in it. Um, we're going to do a side by side comparison with the Buck 110. That's not a Buck 110, it's a ripoff from uh, Master Mechanic. Do a side by side, stats should pop up now. And you should be back. Um, one of the neat things about it um, is there, it's slim compared to the older model. Uh, partly to do with it's made out of nylon. That also makes it a lot lighter. Combined with the carry clip, it makes it great for carrying it to work um, or just around on the town. It's a you know a lot less heavy, so it makes it a little smoother. Um, also, that you can open it with one hand is pretty slick. I like that. I haven't used that feature on a lot of other knives, so I'm glad to see it here. It's hard to close with one hand, of course, but you know that's not too important. Um, one thing they have noted is that the blade tends to be uh, thin on both models and so that you can break them uh, if you're doing anything too rough with the very end. And you'll see that on some models where they're a little bit shorter um, on the old Buck 110s where it's because someone's broke it off and rounded it. So you'll have a little bit shorter um, version. They use nylon for the handle of course which makes it lighter. Uh, the gauge of steel was 140 HC and they claim that that's a good in between with the higher grade steels and the stainless steel that's going to keep it from rusting and keep your blade in good condition in the long run and um, we'll see you guys at testing cut through them like butter All right, we're going to demonstrate some cutting stuff with this. Cut a carrot. Daisy. Cut up Bob the paper. I believe Bob the paper's dead. Sharpen the pencil. Well, this pencil sucks. Well, like as you can see, it cuts fine, but the pencil sucks. I guess we're gonna need some water for that. Like it so. Razor sharp, just sharpened it, but. I really don't have a lot to say about this knife. It holds up good, holds a pretty good edge. It's cut through everything I've tried to cut it through with pretty well ease. Um, that is though, I just sharpened it. 
I like the clip and I like the one-handed opening pin on it. Um, the bright color means you're not going to lose it in the woods as easily. It's slimmer and lighter than the classic 110, though with this more modern look it loses some of the old aesthetic uh, and charm of the old knives, I think. But, I mean, that's the trade-off. I think this is probably going to be my everyday carry knife. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's well worth the price. Uh, speaking of price, the links to purchase are going to be in the description. Another thing I didn't mention was that underneath the Buck 110 symbol, there will be a symbol. This one is a uh, kind of a U shape with a dot in the center. There's a chart out there that'll tell you, but that shows the date that it was, um, the year it was manufactured or the model. But, um, like I said, Buck hit right home with the 110 in 1964. And 2018, they hit right at home with this thing, so. I think it's a great knife, and like I said, well worth the price. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, see y'all next time.